If you are still doing your employee scheduling old school with a spreadsheet, you need to be snapped with a thousand rubber bands on your eyelids. Stop doing that. Hey there, Dave Allred, the Real Barman here from barpatrol.net and therealbarman.com. So if you're using a scheduling app and software like Hot Schedules or Seven Shifts, you are not only wasting your time, but you're losing money and you're adding unnecessary stress to your life. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Seven Shifts specifically for your restaurant scheduling, and you will thank me when it's over because your ROI is going to elevate and you'll have a lot more time to watch the office reruns. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, and if you use the link in the description, or one of the cards up here that appears, you can go to Seven Shifts and get a free trial so you can use it and try it out and make sure it works for you. And if you use this code, AFF underscore 50, Seven Shifts will give you two months off at 50% off. Okay, how awesome is that? All right, they provided that for me and my audience. So thank you very much to uh, Seven Shifts. Now quickly, if you're like me and you've been in charge of scheduling, you know what a bitch it can be. And I'm telling you, it sucks. Okay, I did it for years and it ain't a day at the carnival. Not only do you have to try and schedule enough people for each day, okay, but you have to accommodate white whiny requests for certain days, certain days they want to work, certain days they don't want to work. Uh, and of course, people want the best days, which in our industry usually means the weekends and they usually want the nights because that's where the money's made. All right, then they want to have the best sections uh, and it ends up being like the Hunger Games to get those shifts. And as a manager, you're just trying to keep everyone happy so they don't kill each other and quit. All right. And let's not forget the time off requests for vacation or people calling in sick. All right. Blah, all of it. Scheduling in general just sucks. Okay. We all know it. But with scheduling software, you can and you should be automating all of this. And I'm going to say this again. All right. And I've said it many times in my other videos. Do not hesitate or flinch when it comes to paying for technology to run your business. These are investments, not expenses. Okay, when you invest in things like a POS system or an inventory management system or a scheduling system, you are making a, your business more efficient, you're saving time for yourself and for others, and you are saving money. Okay, your ROI or your return on investment for each of these tools is going to far outweigh the cost. Okay, so don't, do not hesitate and be like, I'm just going to stick to my spreadsheets because I'm old school, baby. That was my nerd impression. Okay, don't say that like you're proud of it. Okay, don't be scared, little rabbit. Okay, venture out and be a strong Kodiak bear. Okay, you won't be pushed around. Rounders? Anyone? You see the movie? Teddy KGB? And you won't be pushed around. Anyway, great movie. Uh, but let's not get sidetracked. Let me show you how this works. And since we're talking about investment, let's take a quick look at the pricing first uh, for seven shifts because I know that's what everyone is what is on everyone's mind right off the bat. Okay, there is a free version of seven shifts that you can use forever. So if you're happy with the very basics that they have here, then you'll be good to go. But of course, the people at seven shifts, they're not like Lenny on Of Mice and Men. They're no dummies. They know that once you start using it, that you're going to want all these other amazing features. And they're right. And you should want to use them because it's going to be worth it. Trust me. Okay. If you scroll down here on their pricing page, you can see everything they have to offer for each pricing tier. I'm not going to insult your intelligence, but for what it's worth, I believe that you at least need the Entree version for you to benefit from the software. But I would highly recommend that you get the works for $69.99. It doesn't matter to me either way. I don't get paid more money or anything for you choosing to pay for a higher tier or not. But with the works, you get all these options I'm about to go over and every one of them is going to make your life easier and help you keep your labor costs down. So that like $2.30 per day or whatever it is, is nothing compared to what you're going to save. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, let me show you around quickly. I'm not going to show you everything or this would be a two hour video. Uh, I'm just going to show the home run features. Uh, the first thing you'll see Every time you log into your account is the manager's dashboard, which will give you an overview of what's going on. Okay, you can see these four tabs that you have up here, uh, starting with your sales versus your labor. You know, if you hover over any of these periods of time, it's gonna show you your actual versus projected sales and your labor numbers and the variance between those two numbers, good or bad. Okay, so you can see 
uh, how you're doing during the week and then you can make adjustments if need be. Okay, you're able to really monitor your labor costs as you go. And if you scroll down here, you will see the pending request time off from all your employees and or availability that they have, as well as an activity, uh, activity log uh, goes that's, <laughs> excuse me, I'm having trouble. The activity log that's right over here that you can scroll up and down and see the latest activity that's been going on in the manager's logbook. Okay, then the who's working tab shows you who is scheduled for the time period selected and what times they're coming in, which is a nice overview to have. Okay, on the schedule page, which is the meat of the software, when you get to the schedule page, you'll see it's very, very nicely laid out and you can view the schedule in one of three ways. You can do the list, which is what you see here. Okay, list by role, which is the employee position and then timeframes. Okay, the, the list view shows you a list of employees and which days and times each of them are working and right below their names, you can see the total number of hours that they are scheduled for the week and what the cost of that labor is going to be based on their hourly uh, wage. Okay, so that's a fun little tool there. Uh, by scrolling around here, you can also see these little corner flags on the corner of the boxes. Uh, when certain employees are available or when they're not, as well as time off requests, <clears throat> it's great to have this all in one spot. Uh, and then you have the time frame view, which breaks, breaks it down by roles and shows the required shift times that need to be covered. So if you need time slots covered, uh, you can clock, I'm sorry, you can click right on the day and the time and it will pull up based on the role of that shift, who is available and who's not available to work. Okay, and then finally we have the list by role, uh, which is the most popular layout used. It, it basically nests the employees under the role they work. So you can see all the shifts by role and make sure that you have every shift covered that you need. Okay, now I'm not going to go over uh, every detail on how to make a schedule, but you can easily make schedules by clicking on the squares and adding employees to a shift. Uh, you can copy paste existing schedules and paste them into future schedules. If you have a lot of employees who work the same shifts, if they're recurring, and this really speeds up the process. And you can even create templates that help in the same way. Okay, when you're ready to publish your schedule, you just hit publish changes in the upper right and it will notify everyone or only those who had changes to their schedule or nobody if you choose, okay? Now, if you choose the weekly option over here, you get a weekly budget tool right on the schedule. So if your POS system is integrated, you'll be able to see the labor cost percentage numbers and the variance for each day, whether good or bad. So good variance, which means you're ahead of budget, show up in green, and then the bad variance shows up in red, okay? That's common sense. Now, besides the ease of scheduling, here comes the part I really love about seven shifts, which is the messaging capabilities. Okay, within messaging, you as a manager can send out announcements to the entire team. You can list the special of the day. You can list the wine that you're trying to push uh, for the week, anything you want. Okay, the world belongs to you. Okay, you can use this kind of like a like pre-shift notes to alert everyone of things going on the re in the restaurant. Okay, this makes your staff responsible for the information so they can't be like, oh, I didn't know, man. Yeah, yes, you did. All right, check your phone, Dingleberry. And you can even see if they've read the announcements so they have no excuse to say they weren't aware of something. Okay, in addition, you can create groups inside the messaging. So back of the house can have their own group, front of the house, uh, they can all be caught part of their own group, bartenders, managers, whatever. Or you can message people individually. And as long as your employees download the app, they can all message each other and not worry about sharing their contact information if they don't want, all right? They don't wanna share their phone number with someone. It's not gonna show up there. It's not gonna be visible. It stays private, but you can still message anyone inside the app, okay? I'm not done yet though. From within the app, employees can see the entire schedule by day so they can see who is working when, but they can also manage their own shifts. So from the app, here I can see how many hours I'm scheduled to work and how many shifts I'm scheduled. And if I click on any of these shifts, I can offer up my shift right here. I hit offer up and I can send this out to everyone, which gives me the best chance to get it covered. Or uh, let's say I've spoken with someone and they said they wanted my shift because they need the money or whatever. Then I can select specific people and go find that person and they will, uh, they will be sent that shift offer and they can snatch it up themselves, okay? And you as a manager don't have to do a freaking thing except to prove it. Okay, you also have people coming to you. Can you help me get my shift covered? Nope, go to the app, get it covered. I'll just approve it. Okay, also, 
Um, if I change my mind, I can take my shift back here um, before anyone snatches it up if I change my mind. But the employees love it because they can manage their shifts, they can put them up for, uh, put them up for grabs, they can pick up shifts that they want, uh, they can request time off, they can enter their availability, and they can message each other all within the app. It's a valuable tool for everyone on staff. Okay, a couple more things. Uh, let's talk about the events uh, feature. I really love this, especially if you have a lot going on. Uh, like at my piano bar back in the day, we had a lot of events. We had trivia night, we had bands, we had the pianos on the weekends. And with the event schedule uh, scheduler, both the managers and all the employees can pull up the events to see what's going on and when. And you can share these events with the guests to make sure they know when these things are going on and make sure to invite them in. All right, you invite them in so they can give you all their money. All right, then there is the manager's logbook, which is a fantastic tool so that the entire management team can all stay in the loop and communicate with each other. Okay, and as you can see here, you can enter shift notes, customer complaints, employee issues, uh, maintenance notes. These are all categories that you can create and more if you wish. So you can keep everything uh, compartmentalized. And of course, you have the sales and labor overview here as well. And then I love the average shift score. I think this is cool. Uh, this is feedback from your employees on how their shift went. Okay, they get notified after their shift is over, requesting that they enter a score and any feedback that they might have, which is so cool because one of the big things I really push for when it comes to building a remarkable restaurant culture is allowing employees to provide honest feedback. And here it is built right into seven shifts and it allows you to nip problems in the bud before they get out of hand. Okay, or they might have good ideas too that you can implement, All right, Feedback is always great. Uh, next up is the engagement dashboard, which is like an under the radar tool that I love. All right, and from here you can see who is the most engaged. And by engaged, it means like who's filling out the average shift score at the end of the night or at the end of the shift and the feedback that we just talked about. Uh, who's the most reliable, who shows up all the time, on time, who's had the most sick days, who's late, who's dropped the most shifts. All of this right here so you can find out who your most reliable employees are. And I love this feature. And if you share it with your staff, like you show it to them, like you can see what's going on, they're going to work harder to become one of those five-star employees you're looking for. Nobody wants to be known as unreliable. Okay, You can, you can even create a rewards um, program for those who are the most reliable, All right, if you got creative. And there is a report as well that breaks down all of your employees to show the reliability this helps you track and record employee problems as well if you need to fire them in the future or whatever. Uh, reports like these help you show that you have proof and a track record of their incompetence. All right, it's just a fact. And then just a couple more things. Seven Shifts has added a new feature since I last reviewed it four years ago, including a task manager. Uh, this means you can create task lists inside the system for your employees and they can check them off at the end of the day uh, inside, I'm, I'm sorry, you can check them off and look at them as a manager at the end of the day inside the manager's logbook, and you can see how many tasks were completed or not completed, uh, in case they're lazy bums, right? They should be completing their tasks, but that's why you're, you're there to monitor it. It's, this is a, an amazing tool for helping you get things done and, and automating things. You can create opening and closing checklists, sideward checklists. Uh, you can make them recurring on a daily or weekly basis or create one-time tasks and you can track it when they're completed. Right, you, you can even require employees to post like a picture showing the task is completed right in the app. Okay, and I'm a big believer in checklists because it holds your staff accountable for their actions, okay, or lack thereof as the case may be. And then finally, Seven Shifts has plenty of great reporting tools that will show you your sales and labor numbers as well as other reports such as all the ones you see over here on the left each one is a great breakdown, but I'm not going to cover all of those right now. If you integrate your POS system, which you should, it will suck all that data into seven shifts and seven shifts integrates with a lot of POS systems. So make sure to ask them if yours does. Okay, in the meantime, you could, and I'm sorry, you can and should sign up for a free trial if you use the link in the description or up here and then you enter AFF underscore 50, you can get 50% off of whatever plan you choose for two months. And if you don't like it, you need to stop using it. Okay, there's no contracts. So stop wasting your time with spreadsheets. They do like 3.78% of what scheduling software can do. And that's a very small number.
Okay, so start using technology to run your business. You'll be so happy that you did that you might just go bathe yourself in chocolate pudding while you watch The Office. Okay, hope this was helpful to you in some way. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I hope you make millions and millions of dollars. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.